All right, this is lesson number two, and this is, uh, we're gonna try to answer the question, should you have a website or not? And in my opinion, uh, this is an absolute must, and having a website is part of establishing and developing your brand. And it's a place where, you know, customers can go and find out a lot of information about you and your company. And establishing your brand is extremely important. This is a place where you're gonna house your logos, you're gonna house your colors, and if you're not familiar a lot about branding and establishing in your brand and your community. I mean, what you actually want is um, when people are driving around town and they think about a painter or think about um, hiring a painter, what you want them to do is think about your company that you want them to see your logo, your branding, and your colors all over town. So they'll it'll just ring a bell when it comes to painting. So having a website is just another place that you can um, help establish your brand along with a lot of other things that we're gonna be talking you know, about shortly in some other lessons. Now, you know, what goes on a website? What should you put on a website? So there's some key things that you should put on your website and we'll um, go over a few key, key things right now. All right, so now we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, what should be on your website. And one of the very first things is uh, some company information and a little, a little bit of the history about your company so they can go and learn a little bit about you and your business. Another thing you wanna have is photos, before and after photos of jobs that you've done so people can go see the work and get an idea of the quality work you do. So in, uh, when you do put pictures, you definitely wanna put high quality, professional quality photos you don't want stuff that uh, doesn't represent your work well and doesn't look good. Another thing you can put on your website is uh, employee bios where people can go learn who's going to be on my job site working on my project and what is the experience they have. This is an opportunity to really uh, to show and um, and brag about your employees and the work that they do and how great they're gonna do on your the job site. Another thing you wanna have on your website is contact information, how, how they can get a hold of you, a phone number and an email address. If you wanna get jobs, you wanna give people the ability to get a hold of you. And along with that, you should have a form where people can go fill out and, um, and when they click a button, it's gonna go right to you asking or scheduling scheduling a bid. A scheduling form is a great way to uh, get bids. So definitely have that on your website. Another thing I'll talk about is uh, a blog and you should have a blog on your website and that's going to help when it comes to SEO or search engine optimization and that's the ability for people to find your website when they do searches. So you have to have a lot of information on your website about painting and painting related stuff if it's going to show up in the Google search engine on the first page and we'll probably get into a little bit more about search engine optimization uh, in another lesson. We won't get um, in, in that right now, but it is important to uh, put a blog so you're actually putting information on a weekly basis or a monthly basis and you can just write articles or you can get information for other people to paste and um, put information on your website so it has relative keywords and relative terms and relative information about painting and that's just going to put your website higher up on search engines so have a blog and um, it's very simple and easy to do and to put on your website and it doesn't have to be necessarily seen it doesn't have to be a place where people are coming and chatting. It's just a place where you're adding information to help search engine optimization. So does a website really get you work? I'll tell you, for uh, my painting company, probably the first 15 years you know, of our painting company, or maybe even longer, probably 15 to 18 years, it was the number one source for uh, getting leads painting. And when, when somebody did a search for uh, painters in Boise, or the painters in the Treasure Valley, if you typed in anything like uh, Boise painters, Treasure Valley painters, Idaho painters, painters in Idaho, any of those key word search terms we always showed up in the top three of the search engine and those people are going to sit there and pick you out and give you a call for an estimate it was our number one source before um, something else actually took that over and i'm going to talk about next door in another lesson and how effective that is but a website is a key place to get leads and you can pay um, people to optimize your website so you always show up on the first page of google or in the top 
top three if you don't know how to do it yourself, but it's it's important just to have the website itself, you know, for branding purposes. And if you're utilizing it for leads, it can be a very effective source if done right. So another thing I want to talk about is that should be on the website is the services that you offer. So when it comes to painting, I was a full service painting contractor and we offered not just painting, but we offered epoxy floors, which is um, a different type of surface. We offered um, drywall repairs. We offered carpentry, carpentry repairs, interior, exterior painting, commercial, residential. You want to kind of list those services out so people that are coming to your website, they're trying to figure out, well, do you offer the service that I am looking for? So make it very clear what you do um, on your website so people can uh, determine whether you're the person that they want to call and ask for a bid. So when it comes to the website also, you don't have to have a large elaborate website. You could have a website, you know, it could be just one page. It could be two pages. I think three pages is probably, you know, the optimal size website, but you know, have a web page that's going to be able to house the information and um, information that your customer is seeking. And you know, whatever that may be, whether it's one, two, three pages, five, it could even be 10 pages. My website now, it's, I don't know, it's probably uh, 20 to 30 pages. So whatever suits your needs, but make sure it's branded very well. Make sure across the entire website, it has your company colors, it has your company logo, and it just looks professional. What you don't wanna do is go out there and put a cheap uh, website that does doesn't look very good that's not branded very well because it's not going to be a good representation of your company and a lot of these things that people are going to be looking at like your websites of your bid packet and, and some other things that's how they um, develop in their mind or establish in their mind whether you're going to be a good painter or not if your website doesn't look good maybe the work that you do is not going to look good so make sure your website before you get it uh, uploaded and live make sure it is dialed in and looks very professional Professional. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There's a, a, a lot of um, you know, apps that you can go out there and use to develop a website you know, at low cost. Since this is an online course about cabinet painting, I think it might be a little bit obvious, but we'll talk a little bit about um, our website and putting uh, cabinets as a service in your website. So this would be an, an important place because uh, cabinet painting kind of is a really big thing now. I mean, you might want to have a service uh, just, just that is listed out as cabinet painting or a page in itself dedicated to just cabinet painting. This is where you can show before and after photos of projects that you've done. You can talk about um, your systems and processes that you use when it comes to cabinet painting. And you can talk about those products that you use, that you use high-end industrial 2K polys. And this is where people can you know, learn about your systems and processes and decide maybe, man, this is the guy I want to hire uh, for the job or at least ask for an estimate. So you know, have a page that talks about that service of cabinet painting and on that page have some type of um, contact information information, whether it's a button to call for an estimate or whether it's a form to fill out to schedule an estimate, that would be really, really important. So I'm just going to give you a few little resources. I did talk about, uh, you know, Fiverr was one of the things that uh, places that you can go and get a website built for free. So I know there's probably a lot of painters out there that don't have, you know, web building background or they're not very techy or they just don't have the time to build, you know, a website. So you, you can just look in uh, your um, your local phone book or just look online, Google it online, uh, website builders near me, and you're going to find some people local that you can actually meet with if you want to actually um, work with somebody locally but websites are something that you don't have to actually meet with somebody locally you can have it done online it could be outsourced I mean, you could go you know if you're not in the United States I, you can if I'm in the United States I can have somebody in Canada build my website and unload it but there's um, that possibility but then also Fiverr and it's um, spelled F-I-V-E-R-R -R. so Fiverr.com Fiverr dot com is is a resource where people will build logos so if you need help building your logo they'll um, write biographies they'll um, build websites and they do all kinds of just um, graphic stuff and a lot of them are students that are offering their services online and they're doing it at a really low cost and it's so it saves you a lot of money but they build some really cool stuff and in the past you know I've used Fiverr to build websites I've used Fiverr to do logos and a lot of other stuff if you need um, so 
uh, ways to build um, you know, shirts, logos for your shirts, um, logos for hats and stuff like that. Fiverr is a great resource. So go check it out if you need any help after this lesson. So to wrap this up, you know, once again, I think I said in the very beginning, having a website is an absolute must. I think when you start a painting company, I mean, you should start, you should have a business card right off the bat. As soon as you start painting, have a business card. And another thing you should have is a website. So get that done and get that uh, built out and up and begin establishing your brand.